God says, My darling, trust that I will use your trials to build a story of triumph. If you agree, then your life is like a book with many chapters that come together to make a magnificent narrative. Although some chapters may be filled with sunlight, laughter and pleasure, others may seem to be filled with rain, thunder and black clouds. Nevertheless, through all of these difficult times, a bigger tale is being created, a story that ultimately leads to triumph. Keep in mind that each difficulty you encounter is like a thread, a strand that enriches your life and add beauty to your life's fabric all by itself. This seemingly weak or unimportant thread, when joined with hope, faith, and endurance, becomes a masterpiece of strength and victory. All of the difficulties you've faced and the tears you've poured have not been insignificant. Although the road ahead may be difficult, have faith that God is expertly paving the way for your success and happiness. These things are the foundation, the stepping stones that will bring you to your ultimate goal. You are not alone in your hardships and your suffering is. There is much opportunity for personal growth, learning, and eventual triumph within these challenging times. Your story of success, like a diamond, is forged in the fire of adversity. You may wonder why you are going through this hell sometimes, but keep in mind that every difficulty is really a chance for growth and success. To accept God's gift. To accept God's gift. Type Amen. When you have God on your side, you can overcome any obstacle. Everything in the universe is enormous and the breadth and unpredictable nature of life might be overwhelming. But there is one constant, God's unfaltering support. He promises to transform your most difficult times into opportunities for success. You are being shaped and refined by every tear. Every moment of uncertainty and every instance of despair, the road ahead may seem lengthy, but with faith and patience, you will reach your destination. No longer are the temptations and wars you endure only exterior. They are. On the inside, in the realms of emotion, thought, and faith. But in all these conflicts, God is your strong suit, your shield, making sure that every difficulty is turned into a story of triumph. There may be challenges that put your limitless potential to the test, these are just temporary setbacks. With God directing your steps, every difficulty is really a test of your mettle, a chance to prove that you can overcome adversity and achieve your ultimate goal. There is a day for every night. Thus, the cosmos is always in equilibrium. Believe that God is working tirelessly to make sure that your worst times culminate in your greatest triumphs. After all, there is a reward for every difficulty. With the passage of time, you will be able to put things in perspective and see the grand design of God's plan, the inherent brilliance in every obstacle, and the inevitable triumph that was always in store for you. Having aspirations is what keeps you going. Even when the road ahead is paved with obstacles, dreams are a source of inspiration and motivation. If you want to have half confidence in God, you have to write a tale where you overcome every obstacle. Belief connects the visible and invisible worlds. Therefore, type Amen if you adore the mighty Jesus. Rest certain that there is a greater story, a higher purpose, and forthcoming triumphs as you cross this bridge. When you have God on your side, no obstacle is too great an undertaking. So, my darling, while you go through the ups and downs, the happy times, the happy times and the sad times, keep in mind that even when things seem hopeless, God is working at Believe that God is aligning everything in your favor, even when you don't comprehend His plan. My beautiful child, 
Your story is one of perseverance, optimism, and eventual triumph, accompanied by infinite love and steadfast trust in your path. The strands of your life's events, memories, and moments form a magnificent tapestry. At first glance, the design may seem disorganized and haphazard. Nevertheless, when seen in context, each thread, color, and knot has a specific function. You are full of hopes, ambitions, and intentions. At times, the way to achieve those ambitions seems to get God's favor. Be as simple and direct as this video. Sometimes it's smooth sailing, and other times it's full of curveballs and unanticipated turns. Either way, keep in mind that he is shaping your path and arranging things in ways that you won't see coming. Feeling down is normal. But remember that for every door that closes, another one opens. This new door may not be what you had hoped for, but it will take you to something that is better for you. In the long run, follow the channel if you think. The life of Jesus is replete with teaching. Some are obvious, while others are more subtle and need further investigation, although the short-term effects may be difficult. Remember that every obstacle serves as a stepping stone to a more favorable situation in the long run. It's natural to want to have complete say over one's life and make meticulous plans, but the magic is in the unknown and the unexpected. Embracing the unknown and ambiguity is when trust is needed. Each day's dawn, dusk is uh, as evidence of his ultimate plan. The cosmos functions in perfect harmony with one another. The stars, planets, and galaxies are all in perfect harmony, and so is your life's path. So say, the Amen, if you want God's favor. The strength of belief lies in its ability to center you in times of tempest and to illuminate the way through tunnels of darkness. Even when faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles or an uncertain future, think he is coordinating everything that is happening, arranging things so that they work out for you. Although you may not be able to see the broader picture right away, every person you encounter and event you go through is an important part of the jigsaw. Have confidence in the process and the divine alignment. He is there, quietly directing and aligning things, making sure that the end result is in your favor, even if your trip is unique and has its own share of ups and downs. In the midst of all the ups and downs, triumphs and tragedies, there is one constant. His unfaltering support his invisible hand arranging circumstances to work in your favor in these times of doubt and uncertainty. Stop and remember his promise, his plan to balance everything in your favor. It's easy to get lost in the complexity of life and feel overwhelmed by its labyrinth. Even if you may face difficulties that test your ability, keep in mind that they are just temporary. Your potential is boundless. Exalt me, O Lord, Jesus Christ. A path, a destiny, has been aligned for your success and pleasure beyond these hurdles. Believe that he is making sure that circumstances work out for the best for you since the universe works on the concept of balance, where there is a high for every low and a comeback for every setback. Experience teaches us a lot. You will come to appreciate his masterful design, the harmony of his timing, and the favor that was always there as the days, weeks, months, and years pass. Unveil your aspirations. Although the path to your goals may seem convoluted and beset with difficulties, have faith in his timing and alignment. Your ambitions are genuine. The stars have aligned in your favor, and every obstacle you faced along the way is molding you into the person you'll become. Though everything may seem random, the universe's plan for every living creature is really replete with meaning and intent. 
thanks to its infinite knowledge. It's a strategy that has been made to make sure that circumstances work out for the best. Trust acts as a link between the setting and the as you cross this bridge, have faith in the hidden plan, the divine alignment, and the favor that has been given to you. Even if you can't see it, dear child, remember this even when things seem complex as you traverse the various roads of life. If you love Jesus, then type Ammon. Have faith that he is constantly working to direct your steps. Even when they seem muddled, God's love for you has no bounds. Beginning at the time of your birth and continuing, even now, He has been there for you through thick and thin. God has been with you through every feeling you've had and every difficulty you've encountered, providing guidance and protection. First, let's talk about obstacles. Every aspect of life is adorned with them, from little annoyances to devastating challenges. Sometimes life throws you curveballs that make you wonder what you're worth, how patient you are, and how confident you are. It might be a challenging test. In the midst of a difficult relationship or a health crisis, keep in mind that God is not distantly observing. He is standing by your side. He is there by your side, encouraging you to keep going, even when things are difficult, and He gives you the strength to do it, to accept it, my beloved child, just type amen. I will restore your soul by the power of my might. Life is a wonderful adventure, yet it may be filled with obstacles. Remember this promise. I will replenish your heart with my power. Keep this in mind when the route ahead seems arduous, the weight heavy, and your heart is tired. Just as the sun comes up after the darkest hour, so too does each morning herald fresh beginnings reviving your heart with renewed vigor, optimism, and fortitude as the night progresses. Being in connection with God brings about happiness. When your will and purpose are in harmony, you will experience an inner delight that is unaffected by outside factors. God offers true, everlasting joy in contrast to the world's shallow, transient pursuits. Everything you go through, no matter how difficult, is a part of your learning curve. It is through these experiences that you are molded, shaped, and prepared for what's to come. Challenge me, and I will be there to revive your soul. Just use the word Ammon if you feel the need, even while it might get wary or discouraged. Your heart, the very center of your being, has an endless potential for renewal. A moment of heavenly connection and trust are all that's needed. Nobody pays attention to your every sigh of sadness or tear that you shed. No matter what comes your way, I am always by your side, ready to lend my support to your heart and help it overcome any obstacle. There are joy cycles throughout life. Joy, sadness, triumph, and defeat. However, through it all, my steadfast vow to replenish your spirit with unparalleled fortitude. The world may be a chaotic and disorienting place, full of worries, interruptions, and unknowns. Just shut your eyes, breathe deeply, and remember my, my promise when all the noise becomes too much. Experience a revitalizing burst of energy as it fills your heart and soul. I am here to be your rock and your light as you navigate your one of kind path, which is sure to be replete with its own special lessons and experiences. Right. Amen. Having faith in God keeps you rooted and ensures you don't stray too far. Even when times become rough, there will be days when it seems like the world is crashing down on you and hope is far away, but I will be there for you. I am the one who calmly speaks words of encouragement, who shines a light of hope and who gives your heart fresh, lasting strength. In the face of adversity, you have the power to climb even higher and when you are at your weakest, my strength will be the one to carry you on. 
fills you with a fresh sense of purpose and vitality. Life is a complex fabric made of the memories and emotions we encounter. Even when some of the threads and colors in your heart's tapestry have faded or become worn, know that they may be repaired and restored with my power. You have an infinite amount of love, optimism, and perseverance. Your potential is boundless. Type 1. I love you, God, and I want you to come to me when you're exhausted. I am the everlasting foundation, the fountain of power that will restore your heart. It's normal to feel tired and depleted at times, but when you do, find strength in me and your heart will be renewed, energized and revitalized with every drop. The mountains you climb aren't just physical. They are also internal battles, struggles of the heart. In these battles, you will find renewal, strength, and victory because I am your armor, your shield, and my reservoir of strength. A person's resilience grows with each nice word, deed, and smile, your heart. And when it seems weak or vulnerable, remember that I am beside you, prepared to strengthen it or restore it with my heavenly power. You are reminded of the beauty, rhythm, and harmony of life with every pulse. And when that rhythm falters or the beat seems feeble, my power is there, synchronizing, harmonizing, and rejuvenating every prayer, hope, and desire you pursue. There may be moments when you feel away from angels, but I am the everlasting listener, perfectly attuned to your voice. Amen. Separated from me, but understand this, no matter how far away you go, my hold on you remains constant through all the turns and pauses I'm patiently waiting to hear. Life in general may be rather demanding, amidst the mayhem, the din, and the incessant speed. I am your rock, your refuge from the tempest. There will be those who support you through every step of your trip, no matter how lengthy it is or how many unexpected turns it takes. My word is unwavering. I will never leave your side, and my limitless power will be at the ready to mend your broken heart. Everything might shift. The changing of the seasons won't change my vow to you. Your heart, my darling, will never truly run dry, no matter how worn it is, because I am ever present, ever prepared, and always promising to replenish it with my infinite strength. This is true, regardless of the season or the change, because I am ever-present and unchanging through all of life's transitions. Bring solace to your anxious moments and strength to your weak ones. My beloved kid, every path through life has its share of ups and downs. I have given you the strength to overcome any difficulty, no matter how big or little and I will be with you every step of the way, through the good times and the bad. Find solace when you are burdened with uncertainty and worry. Explore the depths of your own wellspring of faith. Take what you need from it, since it never runs out. There may be times when you, too, feel exposed and unsure of yourself. It's normal to feel vulnerable, looking for Never forget that you have an inner power that may be unleashed at any time, even when you feel like giving up, even if it's overwhelming. Worry is a sign that you're involved. Accept it, make sense of it, and then find solace in your faith. God is on my side. The capacity to persevere in the face of hardship is a gift I have bestowed upon you. True strength isn't measured in inches, it's measured in the bravery to confront one's anxieties, the will to triumph over adversity, and the insight to draw lessons from one's experiences. When you're at a crossroads and don't know which way to go into your very being, put your worries aside for a moment and take solace in the fact that I am directing your steps, even if you can't see it. There is a secret power inside you that shines out in times of adversity. 
and it is in these moments that you are able to overcome obstacles and overcome the darkness that surrounds you. Unexpected turns and twists abound in life. When you're feeling overwhelmed by the road ahead, it might help to remember the successes and setbacks you've endured in the past. Because you've been there, you can do it again. Feelings, good and bad, are a part of being human. They give life meaning and dimension. I believe in God's plan. Yes, love and understand them, but do not let yourself be ruled by them. There is a mountain of power and an ocean of serenity inside you. Never forget this. Your humanity is on display during your moments of weakness, not your failure. Welcome them with open arms and you will find a wellspring of power just waiting to be tapped into, ready to carry you high. At times, life might seem like a tornado of feelings, happenings, and encounters. If you're feeling disoriented or overwhelmed in the middle of this whirlwind, know that I've given you an internal compass, a constant source of strength and comfort. Know that you are never really alone on your one of a kind trip no matter how difficult or joyful the path ahead may be. As you journey through life's complex labyrinth, I am here to help you find your way, encourage you, console you when you're sad, and fortify you when you're sad, and fortify you when you feel weak. In this life, keep in mind that no matter how bad things become, you will always come out the other side stronger and wiser. In order to claim it, type Amen. And while you're doing it, draw on the limitless power and comfort I've given you. Feeling insignificant and intimidated by the enormity of the cosmos is normal. But keep in mind that inside you is a world unto itself, full of possibility, power, and radiant comfort. A new chapter opens up in your narrative for every difficulty you conquer. A tale of perseverance, bravery, and steadfast belief. Tell this tale. Motivate others while you discover solace and power in the human spirit. The events, feelings, and memories that make up your life form a complex tapestry. A few dangers may seem pliable, though some may seem powerful alone. They all come together to form an exquisite work of art that is all yours. Problems in life are fleeting, like passing clouds. However, you have a source of solace and your strength is unwavering and everlasting. In times of uncertainty, when life seems too complicated and difficult, find solace inside yourself. Explore your heart and you will find a sanctuary of serenity and resilience through thick and thin, sunshine and rain, joy and sorrow, but through it all, Find solace in yourself and rely on your inherent strength. Your journey may be long and full of unexpected turns and challenges, but you have the tools to overcome. Soar and shine. Within you, you have the ability to overcome any obstacle or problem. You represent the strength of the human spirit, an inspiration to those who see you, and a promise for the future. If you ever find yourself in a state of fear or weakness, type Amen needs this. Do not forget this, and may the love and power that are already inside you, together with your unending trust in your abilities, radiate like a beacon. I could see the innocence in your eyes. The second you were born, God told his beloved child, your vulnerable and honest nature has been both a source of strength and a source of darkness. This brightness, planet Earth, is what has attracted those in search of love and acceptance to you. Some people have been drawn to your light, but that doesn't mean they're all good people. Some individuals have viewed your generosity as a sign of weakness. They perceive your weakness as a chance to seize God's gift because of your open heart, even in these trying times. I've seen you remain strong times. I've seen you remain strong and unyielding in the face of their contempt and misuse of your charity. You chose to comprehend when others could have become bitter. 
Even in the face of misfortune, every individual has their own path and their own struggles. And you've always believed that. You frequently choose to assume that these people were behaving out of their own suffering, rather than harboring grudges. Seeing the pain in other people's exploitation, rather than just your own shows, how compassionate you are. You can hear that it's a symptom of being too soft or that you need to grow up. Your kindness is unique and valuable because of the world's harshness. My kid, many people long for your kindness, yet they may not always understand its value. You have remained true to your principles through all of this testing. Your identity has not changed over and over again. I've seen you get back up, heal your heart, and keep it open to the world. Your unfaltering faith and inner strength are evident in this. Standing strong in the face of adversity isn't my child's strength. It's also the capacity to gracefully bend and sway with it, to be vulnerable even after suffering pain, and to have the courage to be soft in a society that often favors hardness. You haven't had it easy the whole time. You have risen from every setback, and with each success comes more strength. There have been times when you questioned if your heart could handle another setback. You are an inspiration, both in wisdom and compassion, since you have shown us that even the darkest waters may bring up a beautiful blossom, like a lotus flower. Even in the darkest of times, your spirit has managed to radiate. For the blessings of the Lord, type Amen. Everything that has happened to you, from the good times to the bad, has been for a reason. Your trials have made you stronger and more prepared for the future. I have planned for you. Keep in mind that no matter how difficult things are, they always provide a chance for personal development. My darling, I am by your side through thick and thin. Sure. I can be there. Your journey has not been in vain. I see both your hardships and your accomplishments. Extra help is required, my darling. You are an inspiration because you have the kind of heart that can love deeply, despite the dangers. That can trust that people are basically good, even when they prove them wrong. And that can keep going, even when they're hurt. As you shine your light on the world, many will also discover your path. You are not alone in the significance of your trip. It is felt by many others that you meet on your path. Keep in mind that the value you provide to yourself is more important than how other people see you. Hold on to your faith, my darling, for I am here with you, rooting for you and loving you no matter what God says. With each breath you've taken and every sound you've made, I have been by your side, you've been by your side. Prayer. Your presence has been felt by me, and you have sensed my presence in every quiet tear. Throughout the ups and downs, the pleasures and tragedies of your earthly journey, you have always been observed by me. Some may wonder, why do I have to deal with problems? Problems arise for what reason? It is important to keep in mind, my child, that while this world is full of wonders and beauty, it also contains difficulties that put one's faith to the test. Rather than shattering you, these trials should mold you into the exceptional human being God created you to be. Insomnia, self-doubt, and other forms of mental and emotional isolation are all tools in the enemy's arsenal. But my darling, you have never been truly alone, for even in your darkest hours, when you felt the entire world pressing down on you, it was I who lifted you up. All of your hardships are plainly visible to me. You've been overwhelmed every time I've seen it. For the whole time, you were down and out. Keep in mind, nevertheless, that I will never allow the enemy's weaponry to break your will. May test, strain, or even frighten you from time to time, but they cannot overcome you because you are backed by something stronger. My steadfast love and protection. 
There were several occasions when you sensed an underlying fortitude and perseverance without knowing what was coming. You couldn't have told me that my kid was really me. When you encountered insurmountable obstacles, it was I who led the way. I am the one who empowered you to fly high, as in this video, and get God's favor. I understand that the road might be long, the fights can feel endless. No enemy can stand a chance against you. Not because their weapons are feeble, but because you are unstoppable when I am at your side. The obstacles may be endless, but I assure you that we will overcome them. You are being prepared for the magnificent future I have in store for you by overcoming each obstacle and facing each fear directly. My darling, you are not a cosmic pawn. In such peaceful times, you are a sign of divine love, a monument to tenacity, and a lighthouse of optimism. The moment uncertainty sets in to sneak up on you, Keep in mind what I told you. You were not sent on this earth to fail or to lose. Your purpose in being here is to radiate positivity, flourish and share the wisdom and love you discover. Sing a hymn of praise to me, Jesus Christ. You still have a long road ahead of you, full with opportunities, challenges, and goals. Have no worry. However, I will be at your side the whole time. My love for you has no bounds, and my protection envelops you like a shield. Strength of draw via our bond and my darling. Know that I am raising the world's problems with you. Anytime you feel their weight, when you fight, you are never fighting alone. Your perseverance in the face of adversity is evidence of the power of the Holy Spirit working inside you. You are showing the world and yourself that no hostile weapon can ever damage you with faith and my direction with every triumph, no matter how tiny. Never close your eyes, never give up, and never let your trust waver. Whatever you need, I am here to observe, guide, and... I love you more than words can express. Keep moving forward, confidently and gracefully, and know that I will be here for you every step of the way. Amen is the key word, dear child. If you love Jesus, God whispers in our hearts that faith is a strong force that can alter our lives in ways we can't even begin to fathom. Even though they are basic, these words have deep meaning. Come with me while I investigate this. Just as we can't see the wind, but we can sense its presence when we trust and believe in something, so too is faith in something we can't see. Belief in something more than ourselves. Whether it's God, the cosmos, or even just the inherent goodness in people, is like planting a seed. At first glance, it may not seem to be much, but with the right conditions, it may blossom into a majestic tree. A mustard seed of faith, or any amount of faith at all, may grow into a great tree and transform our lives forever. Life is full of obstacles. Some of them may seem insurmountable, but having faith allows us to understand that there is a greater good at work in all things. This conviction empowers us to keep going, even when it appears like all hope is gone. Faith gives hope even in the worst of times. Do not let go of it. Our religion instructs us to a glimmer of optimism that the light at the end of the tunnel is on the horizon gives us the strength to keep going. When the darkness seems to be closing in, while physical wounds tend to heal on their own, mental scars need faith to heal. We are reassured by faith that suffering is transient. We may recover from our sorrows and face them head, on with the help of comfort, which restores and revitalizes our soul. Faith is more than just believing. Belief in a higher power and faith in one's fellow humans go hand in hand. The formation of links and the deepening of relationships are two ways in which trusting others enhances our lives. 
Faith helps us look beyond the impossibility of our goals and into the realm of possibility. It gives us the strength to pursue our ambitions, despite the risks involved, and it assures us that the universe will be there to support us, no matter what. A life lived with faith has an impact beyond ourselves. It sends out waves that allow others to see our steadfast character, in case you needed it. While we draw strength from our religion, we may unwittingly fan the flames of faith in another person's heart. Belief gives us strength. It affirms our value, our abilities, and the purpose of our path. When we have faith, we know that we are not alone in this chaotic world, and it gives us the strength to confront any storm that comes our way. Although it may seem impossible, faith serves as a compass leading us to the serenity we seek inside. As far as we can tell, there is peace on the other side of every obstacle. Not all miracles take place at huge festivals. Sometimes they're more understated, like a serendipitous encounter, a thoughtful act, or a perfect opportunity. When we put our trust in God, we begin to see these marvels for what they really are. A world full of mysteries, just waiting to be solved. While this world is fleeting, our souls are eternal, and faith is the link that binds us to the eternal. Because of this bond, we feel like we belong, that we're a part of something great and wonderful. The word from God is quite clear. When our faith is pure, it changes the way we see things. When we navigate the ups and downs of life's path, it builds our soul and gives our lives meaning and pleasure. Being religious is like having a lighthouse. It keeps us from ever being completely lost. Our religion is both a protective barrier and a driving force that leads us to our authentic selves and the limitless possibilities that lie inside. Love. God says, my darling child, is the strongest feeling humans have ever experienced a guiding light and a comforting warmth. It is a binding force. Love has been there for you from the day of your conception. In the lullabies sung to you, the tender touches, the many sacrifices made for you, becoming your very essence and guiding light. All of these things are expressions of love. They have molded you into who you are now and given you the ideas and ideals by which you live your life. When we're hurting, love may make all the difference to ease the emotional turmoil that comes from feeling overwhelmed by the world. All it takes is the comforting embrace of love to calm your disturbed spirit. There is nothing like a friend's encouraging words a parent's soothing touch, or a partner's quiet presence during a storm. Love acts like a mooring boy, guiding you back to safety. Please, God, type Amen. Your talents, patience, and ability to love without conditions were all shown to you. You have received a message of affirmation and kindness from God. The purity and enduring nature of your love reflected the divine. Loving and being a parent is a journey. This was more than a one-of-a-kind narrative. It was a story about humanity as a whole. On this path, you were never really by yourself. Through it all, God was there, sharing in your pleasures and sorrows, and keeping a loving eye on you. One of love's extraordinary properties is its curative power. Emotional wounds, when ignored, may leave deeper and more subtle scars than physical ones. Love, however, is the healing balm that puts these shattered parts back together. The mother is the one who soothes a skinned knee with a kiss. As the light and rain nourish plants, love nourishes your spirit. It's the foundation upon which you grow, learn, and develop. It's a friend who holds your hand through heartache and a spouse who sees all faults and loves you still. Love feeds, enriches, 
and elevates you with each deed. Loving someone allows you to see the best in them and in yourself. Love motivates you to improve yourself and your actions, which is an inspiring quality, Ben. It is the main motivator for elements such as a paintbrush, a pen, musical notation, or a dreamer's vision. Faith in God's mighty might is the source of boundless acts of kindness, generosity, and courage, which in turn inspire love. Love has the power to elevate even the most ordinary people to a level where they may have a lasting impact on the world. But my darling, keep in mind that love isn't something you put on the outside. It must originate inside you in order to be genuinely harnessed. First, you must love yourself, flaws and all, in order to tap into the power of love. Each and every one of your flaws. Since true love can only blossom when you love yourself first. Love is limitless, beautiful, and unconditional. It does not care who you are or what you think. In a society where differences are emphasized more than commonalities, the effect of genuine love, whether it's between lovers, friends, or parents and children, is powerful. Love is the remark that bridges the gap. I trusting God. Yes, it may bring people together and as one and to bring about peace. It brings to mind the universal truth of the connections that unite all human beings. There may be periods of uncertainty, suffering, and loss along your life's path, but love will always be there to help you find your way. It will serve as a gentle reminder of the kindness in the world, your value, and your mission. Therefore, my darling, let love guide you. Permit it to direct your deeds, ideas, and aspirations. Let yourself be healed by its touch and find strength in it, in its nourishing embrace, and let itself be enchanted by its limitless potential. You will learn patience, kindness, compassion, and understanding from an alien love. You will be challenged, lifted, and transformed by it and you will rediscover your finest self in its embrace. Love, in its most basic form, may transform the world. So hold onto it tightly. Treasure what it gives you and share it with the world. Never forget that love is the one true gift, the eternal flame and the essence of all things. On this planet, tend to it, rejoice in it, and allow it to direct your path at all times. The essence of love, God whispers to his beloved child. From the beginning of time, people have been enthralled by that deep feeling that connects people on a personal level. This universal emotion has been with humanity since the beginning of time and knows no boundaries, civilizations, or epics. A lot of people have attempted to describe it, Poets have written lyrics, musicians have written songs, and painters have painted canvases in an effort to convey the indescribable. They have attempted to put a name to the indefinable in an effort to concretize the immaterial but concrete. I believe in God's plan, yes. Many ancient people believed that love belonged to the gods. Stories of gods and goddesses passionate, yearning, and devoted love abound in mythologies across the globe, serving as parables that educate people about the heights and depths of love. Throughout history, love has been the driving force behind many great adventures and missions. One of its primary functions has been to motivate Defying the gods and battling demons were common tactics for heroic figures who overcame seemingly impossible obstacles. Throughout history, stoled in the name of love, have shown how strong and unwavering love can be. Love has many meanings in different cultures and societies. Some believe it is a sacred covenant blessed by God, but there are plenty who see it more as a family pact. Others have treasured it in the solitude of their own homes, while still others have feated it with great feasts and celebrations.
the essence of love remained the same, regardless of the ways it was defined or celebrated. The central theme has always been, and will always be, the bond between two people. The merging of their spirits as their lives' fates become intertwined. Numerous writers have been inspired by love. From Shakespeare's impassioned poems to Rumi's heartfelt phrases, they have all made an effort in their own unique ways to use words to capture the wide range of feelings that love may cause. They've spoken about the highs and lows, desires and disappointments and happiness and contentment that come from love. Love songs, whether they be old ballads or contemporary anthems, have captivated musicians for generations. If you believe in angels, write Amen since love has been the repeating theme. Its harmonies have touched people all across the world. Its rhythms have made their hearts skip a beat, and its melodies have made them cry. From the Renaissance's magnificent sculptures to the contemporary era's abstract paintings, artists have attempted to capture love's enchanting allure via their use of vivid colors and expressive shapes. Give love shape and substance by capturing its essence. In addition, my kid has been the starting point for many people's spiritual journeys. For them, it represents the road to the divine, the means to rise beyond the ordinary and commune with the saints in heaven. Many mystics and seekers of truth have spoken to the heavenly love that exists for the spirits longing to unite with the cosmos and the joy that ensues from doing so. The most profound manifestations of love, however, are often found in the most mundane of settings. For example, in a mother's lullaby, the such common manifestations are a father's protecting hug, a friend's constant support, and a partner's understanding look. As you go through life, my beautiful child, always keep in mind that love in all its manifestations is your true north. It will lead you and anchor you in the energy that will carry you ahead. And these little acts genuinely express its essence. Treasure love, rejoice in it, and most of all, allow it to flow freely both ways. Being a find out why you're here. Keep in mind that love is more than a feeling. It is the glue that holds you to other people, to the earth, and to the divine. Thank you for tuning in. May it serve as a compass, a rock, and a source of motivation for you. Please consider subscribing to our channel so you can see more videos like this if you liked this one and thought it was useful. Until we meet again, make sure you click the bell button to get alerted whenever we upload a new video. Please be well, and we will meet again in the subsequent one. Angel says your life will be turned upside down. An incredible opportunity will present itself, and your wildest dreams will come true if you watch this movie within the next day. You will start a new lovely chapter in your life if you watch this video all the way to the finish, right now, in every area of your life, mental, emotional, physical, energy, and financial. Things are going to improve tenfold every month. One of your life's most remarkable tales is going to be written by you. Affirm it by typing amen. The key is that it is coming to fruition in the actual world because you have already visualized it mentally. If you think good news will come through this week, on the phone, you're reading this on, write yes. The time has come this week. Financial blessings will shower upon you like rain. A huge victory is on the horizon for you. There is a reason you are here reading this message. You are the one who should be reading it. This proves to yourself that things are starting to turn around for the better. Unanticipated discoveries are about to happen. 
You will get $1 million in your bank account from unexpected sources next month. If you watch this, which is good news and a narrative twist. Film, all the way to the conclusion, my darling. I, your God, am speaking to you today with a message that is both simple and deep. Always know how much someone cares about you. Everything in the universe, from the vastness of space to the tiniest of particles, contains a bit of my soul, and you are no exception. I want to see your joy, contentment, and serenity. It will happen via miracles. In case you were wondering, lovely kid, plenty and attraction are the fundamental laws of the cosmos. Even when you're not actively seeking it, the riches you deserve will find you because you are a powerful magnet. Realize that monetary value is a physical manifestation of energy and that it is possible to attract and direct this energy in whatever way one desires. In this process, your beliefs, emotions, and thoughts are potent instruments to connect with the frequency of wealth. All you have to do is believe and feel deeply that money pours to you regularly. Even if you're not putting in any effort, you should still appreciate the worth of money, even if it's coming to you freely. Having financial resources allows one to pursue personal development and have a positive impact on society. Appreciate it and put it to good use. Keep in mind that money comes to you in cycles. You should also make sure that it flows positively from you. Giving back to the community keeps the good times rolling. You are under no need to sacrifice all of your riches away but instead figure out how to channel your resources so they may have a constructive impact. Rather than hoarding the money that comes in, let it flow freely like a river. A river that is moving nurtures everything in its path, whereas a pool that doesn't move at all promotes deterioration. May your prosperity flow like a river, never stopping to nurture you. Even while money is coming your way, don't forget that investing in yourself, in knowledge, wisdom, love, and kindness is just as vital. Put your hands up if you believe that these are life's genuine treasures. Realize that there is plenty of help waiting for you in the cosmos. Get in sync with an abundant mentality. Keep your perspective on money clear and optimistic, and you'll discover that riches flow to you effortlessly. Keep an open mind. Be patient and have faith. Everything is working out for the best. Please join us this week in reaching 30,000 divine followers by subscribing to the channel. One expression of plenty is riches. If you are fortunate enough to be bestowed with fortune, you may enjoy its numerous benefits. You see it for what it really is, a gift with a higher purpose, designed to do good in the world by means other than your own enjoyment and ease. When you have a lot of money, you can assist others out in a lot of ways. You may donate to a cause you care about or put money into someone's schooling if they don't have much. Helping the less poor is really just a way to improve the lives of everyone around you. Keep in mind that money can't buy you happiness, but it may buy you influence. Good or evil, it's just a tool whose worth is according to the user. Opportunities may arise as a result. Encourage growth and bring about beneficial transformations when used with compassion and discernment. God's decision to provide you with prosperity demonstrates his confidence in you. He knows you have what it takes to put this wealth to good use. Nobody picked you because you have a gluttony complex. Rather, you are here to serve others less fortunate. If you need this, simply type him in. Thus, may your riches not just accrue, but also flow. Put it to good use. 
It's not about how much money you have, but about how much you can give to foreigners. So be generous with what you have and watch it grow in ways you never imagined. God has entrusted you with these riches, so always keep that in mind. Give generously, kindly, and with love using it. You will discover that the affection and appreciation of people you've helped is more valuable than financial riches as you achieve a divine mission and become an instrument of God's blessings to others. As you can see, I want you to live a life where miracles are commonplace, not the stuff of mythology. They are in the rain that feeds the ground, in the breath you inhaled without thinking twice, in the dawn that welcomes you every morning, and in everything in between. Every single moment of your life is a divinely orchestrated miracle, and I am here today to encourage you to notice them, even if you don't always see them. Can you believe it? You're about to see a plethora of miracles, some of which will be really little, like finding the ideal parking spot. Some may be little, like finding yourself in the perfect place at the right time or receiving a phone call from a long-lost friend. Others will be larger, like stumbling across a job opportunity or falling head over heels for a relationship that heals and uplifts you. Big and little, these miracles are all here to make you happy and appreciate the good things in life. Keep an open heart and mind as you go about your day. I will send miracles your way. Every one of them is a token of my affection for you, a promise that I will be there for you. No matter how difficult things become, a miracle may appear out of nowhere sometimes. You may learn more about life's lessons via adversity, and you can find new opportunities through setbacks. Even a closed door can lead you down a road you wouldn't have chosen otherwise. Please type them in. In order to obtain these miracles, spread the happiness you're experiencing. May the joy in your face serve as a symbol of inspiration, beckoning others to find their own personal miracles as you face the highs and lows of life. Remember that sharing your joy makes it multiply, making the world a better place. Keep in mind that this is the pinnacle of miracles. Your mere being is evidence of the miraculous nature of life, and you add to the universe's magnificent symphony with each beat of your heart, thought, and deed. Take a time to appreciate your life and embrace this insight. Discover the enchantment in the ordinary, from the very air you inhale to the very dreams you have. Appreciate them as wonders. When you give them the attention they deserve, you'll soon notice that your life is turning around for the better. Remain determined. Good things abound on the horizon. Send it on if you think it's worthy. I am always there to guide and protect you, my little child. I will shower your life with marvels that are meant to make you smile. May the wonders I offer serve as a constant reminder of my love and the joy I want for you. Rather than seeing these occurrences as anomalies, view them as the norm of the divine law that controls your existence. If you put your faith in this, you will discover that there are miracles and chances to smile in every minute of your life. Keep in mind, that life is more than a mere journey. It is a dance of love, wonders, and pleasure that we share with one another. So, go out into the world and dance. Oh, my darling. Dance with delight. Enjoy life to the fullest and see the wonders I bestow upon you. And always, always keep smiling because it is in your pleasure joy and thankfulness that I get my own joy. You may hear God's voice in your spirit as well as in your ears. In a low voice, he assures you that a promotion to an incredibly rewarding position is on the way. This is more than just an assurance of future events. It is an endorsement of them. To affirm, 
type Amen. These statements ring true with what God says in Jeremiah 29, 11, when he promises, your future is in my hands. Proclaim that the Lord's intentions for your prosperity rather than your destruction will provide you with hope and a future, a heavenly promotion that will elevate you and others around you. God's purpose for your life is one of plenty and pleasure. Everyone around you will feel the intense and contagious pleasure that you will feel. Proverbs 10, 22 will be echoed. With the Lord's favor, with the Lord's favor, one may amass riches without enduring arduous labor. Verse 22 of Proverbs 10 will be echoed. With the Lord's favor, you may amass prosperity without enduring physical labor. As a result, your contentment will come not from worldly possessions, but from a profound, deep contentment and a feeling of divine purpose during this time of impending plenty. It is crucial that you stay open and prepared to conform to this promise by establishing your trust, as mentioned in Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is the certainty of things not seen. The faith in what we hope for. Even if you can't see the promotion happening right now, having confidence will be the key that unlocks it. There is a consistent theme of plenty. Pull out the Bible, which is a divine concept. Keep in mind, Philippians 4, 19, and my, in light of God's glory in Christ Jesus, he will provide for all your needs. God promises to give abundantly, meeting all of your needs and more, exactly as this video shows. You are invited to walk into a bigger version of yourself, a place of more effect, power, and benefit, much like Joseph in Genesis, who was promoted from a prisoner to the ruler of Egypt, if you believe in Jesus. God assures you of your promotion. Thanks to your miraculous elevation, you'll soon be in a position of great influence. And may you be blessed as you get ready for this heavenly elevation. Tend to the promise made in Deuteronomy 28, 13. In God's eyes, you will be the first, not the least. I tell you today that if you listen to the Lord your God and obey his laws, you will never be at the bottom, but rather at the top. A life devoted to following God's plan and his word will set you up for the promotion that is on the horizon. Your path to this promotion is not an isolated one. In fact, it will be contagious, bringing happiness to everyone around you. Joy. And trust this, echoes the principles found in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God may bless you abundantly so that you will never need anything, always having enough for all your needs. While you go through this, have an attitude of thankfulness in your heart, according to 1 Thessalonians 5. 18, being grateful puts us in harmony with the abundant vibration it is the desire of God for you in Christ Jesus to be thankful no matter what. You will remain rooted and receptive to the divine promotion if you practice thankfulness. As well as the bounty harvest that follows, the love of God resounds in God's plain messages to you. A miraculous promotion is about to come your way, and with it a life changing change that will bring you nothing but happiness and prosperity. Your moment has come. Welcome these words with an open mind and an unwavering attitude. Keep an open mind because God's promises are always true and his timing is flawless. You must be prepared and hold on to your faith. Type Amen. If you put your faith in God's timing as you go through life's prosperity path, you'll know that. Having wealth goes beyond just having a lot of money and stuff. It also means having love, knowledge, compassion, and tranquility in your life. In your role as steward of material wealth, these principles will serve as a compass 
possessing material prosperity is a call to accountability from God. It is expected that you would manage these funds prudently. It's a call to action to make something new and useful out of what you have and to share it with the world so that it can improve. Be humble at all times. It will serve you well on this path. Riches are a gift and you have been selected to receive them because of the faith God has put in you. Keep this in mind, no matter where your gifts come from, you discover the importance of being attentive to the needs of others around you. A lot of people are having a hard time, and your money may give them hope. It might go towards feeding the homeless, providing education to the poor, housing the hungry, and many other important causes without intending to. Every act of kindness has the power to alter the course of history for the better. If you want to share your money, there's no need to expect anything in return. The happiness and contentment you get from helping others are rewards enough. Develop your inner riches by feeding your intellect with knowledge, your emotions with compassion, your spirit with faith, and your life with direction. The choices you make in life will be in harmony with your divine purpose to share your material riches, guided by your inner richness. Allow the divine to lead you as you wholeheartedly embrace this trip. To illuminate the way, every action you take, every person you impact, and every shift you bring about is evidence of the divine design. Believe in God's wisdom. If you believe in the plan He has for you in this matter, Amen. Make a difference in people's lives by sharing what you have, and you will discover the boundless pleasure, contentment and satisfaction that comes from giving to others. The true measure of our life's richness is not our possessions, but the amount we are able to share with others. The angels are trying to tell you something, my darling. They want you to understand that the power... There is a sense of synchronicity and divine timing in your life. Everything that happens to you in life happens at the exact right time, just as the sun rises and sets at precisely the right moment. Everything that happens to you. The people you meet, the circumstances you encounter, the difficulties you overcome, and the victories you celebrate is planned so that your soul may evolve. When everything falls into perfect harmony, it's a sign from above that you're heading a correct direction. Those apparently unrelated instances when everything clicks into place are really indicators that the forces of nature are conspiring to bring forth your greatest benefit. Conversely, divine timing serves as a gentle reminder that events transpire according to their own predetermined schedule. When things don't happen right away, it's normal to feel frustrated or concerned. However, the angels want you to know that trusting the process is like planting a seed. It takes time for the seed to develop into a tree. Time is necessary for the fulfillment of your aspirations and goals. Have faith that everything is unfolding according to plan. No matter how good or bad it becomes, it always presents an opportunity. You gain knowledge, strength, and self-discovery on the road. So trust it if you want your soul to develop and expand. Trust that your life is unfolding according to a plan that is higher than you, my darling. Put your faith in the universe's guidance and release your anxieties. It is leading you to your greatest benefit. You are precisely where you should be. Your path is special and directed by a higher power. Put your faith in the procedure. Enjoy the ride and be aware that angels are watching over you the whole time. If you have faith in heavenly beings, respond with an Amen. Beloved, Pay attention to these words of heavenly promise as they reverberate through your life. Financial disappointments, the tests that have tried your mettle and determination, will soon be a thing of the past. For you, 
this is the beginning of a new age, one in which the darkness of financial troubles is banished and the light of prosperity shines brightly. Thanks to your faith and determination, you have made it through these harsh waters. The current is going to reverse. Get ready for a remarkable change. Things are going to change in your life that you cannot imagine. Unexpectedly, this change will come at a rapid pace, catching you off guard. However, it will also provide an unparalleled level of exhilaration and delight. This change is God's signal that you are ready. God states, Behold, I am doing a new thing, and it is springing up in Isaiah 43, 19. And this passage echoes those words. Is it not apparent to you? through the wasteland's vastness and its streams. I am forging a path. Prosperity is going to blossom in your financial desert, and streams will irrigate your wasteland of troubles, of triumph. In the face of this imminent triumph, keep in mind the words of Deuteronomy 8, 18. But keep in mind the Lord your God, because he is the one who endows you with the capacity to create riches. This newfound prosperity is evidence of God's kindness and generosity. It is a blessing bestowed upon you by God because He has faith in your ability to prudently manage it and it heralds an imminent improvement in your financial situation. Restates what is spoken in Psalm 46, 5. Because God is within her, she is unbreakable. When the sun rises, she will be helped by God. God has promised that you would not stumble, and now the day of your financial breakthrough has come. This remarkable transition is about more than just making money. It's about the personal development and growth it brings, about discovering who you are and where you fit in the universe, and about tapping into the divine potential that has been dormant for a long time, ready to burst forth now that this profound period is drawing near. As the First Chronicles 1634 says, Thanksgiving prepares the way for plenty. So have that attitude of thankfulness in your heart always. Pray always because the Lord is good and his love never ends. Recognizing God's everlasting compassion and kindness is what it means to be grateful. Bye, my dear, my darling, my darling, my darling, may God shine upon you. When you're happy within, it shows on the outside that you are prepared to welcome this monumental change is evidence of your faith, hope, and optimism. Standing here, may the happiness in your heart radiate through your grin. You are about to experience a rapid, unexpected, and remarkable change in your financial situation as God prepares you for a new level of achievement. A new chapter has begun, and with it comes immense delight and the prospect of an exciting road towards achievement. It is time to move into the wealth that awaits you. So embrace this moment with trust, thankfulness, and a smile. God is with you every step of the way, and His perfect plan for your success is unfolding. Know this. If you have been battling your shadow self, you have angels helping you. When you leave toxic relationships behind, you'll be walking into a new era of positivity and independence. Your history will include your struggles with addiction and the shackles that bind you. Relax and just breathe. Affluence will be bestowed on your family by your thoughts. Now you know, it's safe to follow your gut. You have overcome many obstacles. Now is the time to go on and write a new chapter in your tale. You have a bright future ahead of you. Put your faith in it. Thank you for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was useful. And maybe even subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos like this one. Between now and our next video, be sure to press the bell symbol to get notifications. Be well. Until the next one, we'll see you. I'm grateful.